G'day Scrappers and welcome to another incredible video from, that's right, you got it, myself, Dan, okay, let's not get too carried away. Well, this afternoon, I'm going to do some uh, value extracting, I guess, well, or I could say that um, I'm going to decide to, well, <laughs> take two. I'm going to work out how much value I can extract out of that solar inverter. And the reason, and this one here in particular is one that I've never ever done before. Um, I don't see any obvious heat sinks on it. Uh, they seem to be a bit lighter than the usual ones that I grab out of the bin, but nonetheless this was free. Um, I weighed it and it weighed 12 and a half kilos okay so I'm gonna pull this apart and have a look inside because I also buy solar inverters now I'm buying solar inverters at 40 cents a kilo now if you're in America or England and you happen to operate by pounds essentially um, pounds is a double okay let's just say if, if it's one kilo and let's just say it's two pounds, okay? Not entirely accurate, but just to give you a bit of a ballpark figure of the pounds to kilos conversion, okay? Pounds, one kilo, two pounds, okay? As I said, not entirely accurate, but it just gives you a fair idea of where we're at. So anyway, as I was saying, 40 cents a kilo I buy a solar inverter for if my customer happens to have one. Find them in the bin as often as I do, fantastic, I love it. But um, in case I happen to stumble upon one of these bad boys, I want to know and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make something out of it. So um, essentially 12 and a half kilos, 40 cents per kilo, I would pay $5 for this solar inverter. Will I make money out of this solar inverter if I pay five bucks for it? I mean, surely, I mean, honestly, let's think about it for a second. I would think so. Would I double my money? Would I triple my money? Or would I make a little bit? Who the feck knows? I don't bloody know, okay? And that's what I'm here to find out. So I'm gonna get stripping, and you're gonna just keep on watching, if you want to, otherwise, not interested, just tune on out and move along. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get cracking because there's a game of football on TV right now. It's about to start. The Gold Coast Suns and Carlton, all you, all you overseas folk, don't worry about it. It's just Australian football and I wanna watch it, but um, I've gotta get cracking. Less talk, more work. Let's get underway, shall we? Okay, Scrappers, hopefully you've got an awesome view here. And uh, we can get underway. And stuff, all right. Always keep a screw bucket handy as well. So that way, when you remove screws, you don't just leave them on the table. circuit board, bit of a circuit board here, wonderful, rubbish, small ones, ah, uh, oh, is that another transformer here? Looks like it's got some more like copper windings on that one. I think fair to say 
I would easily make my five dollars plus some. Cutting out is this thing here. Find some uh, nice brass in that. Or well, nothing fantastic, but worth removing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Rubbish bin. More aluminium. Another nice board. Electric motor. Electric motor in here as well. Encased with a really hard rubber that can stay in there straight into the drum. Wonderful. There's that. The only downside is it's cased. It is also cased in a hard gel, which would make getting that transformer rather difficult. The heat sinks may be a bit difficult. I mean, I could probably give it a go later, but I ain't gonna do it now on camera, because it's just gonna kill time like it already is. Lovely transformer, nice copper on it too. The extruded aluminium heat sink. It shouldn't be too hard to remove, I don't think. There's some clips here on the side. Or the same with the other circuit board, holding them down, I believe. So um, I will extract those for the extra value afterwards. Maybe a bit of a dirty aluminium, but I think fair to say where I go that they'll just chuck it in as clean. It's pretty good. Glad it was free. Well, scrappers, there you have it. We've made our money back. We've doubled our money, easily doubled our money, nearly tripled it, basically, just with the aluminium alone. It was like, based on the prices I get, we're looking at roughly about $15 in aluminium right there, 15 bucks. That's awesome. Okay, a bit of cable, nothing too exciting. A bit of copper wire there. They're all brass fittings there. More brass than that plug, well that connector bit. These electric motors, uh, two kilos, uh, two point something kilo, where the, all the aluminium was 5.7. Uh, circuit boards were like three, just over three kilos. And if we wanted to extract the extra value, we'd just undo these clips here and uh, see if we can wriggle off these uh, aluminium heat sinks. Tiniest bit of stainless. All in all, it's fair to say we've, we've at least made $20. 20 bucks. Okay, it took me an hour. Okay, maybe I can get a bit better. But um, overall a good result. Not bad at all. I don't want to look up your nose. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. hope you watched it. If you didn't, it doesn't matter. Then you don't know what you missed. Maybe you missed nothing too exciting at all. Anyway, please like, subscribe, ring the big thing. You know the thing, yada, yada, yada. Peace out, guys. Have a fantastic week. We'll 
see you again really soon. Ciao for now.